Hello, zombies, and welcome to the Joker makeup tutorial, where you can learn to look exactly like I did in the short film Madly in Love. Here I am, the Joker, getting my face pounded by Harley Quinn with a little mallet. As you can see, she's using the same white paint that they use to make chalk outlines of dead bodies. If you ever watched Law and Order, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Harley's really, really good. I mean, she does this every single day for me before we go grocery shopping, before we go to the movies. So she's just gotten very quick. This is actually filmed in real speed. We didn't speed this up at all. The next step is to apply a liberal amount of green eyebrow makeup because you want the hostages at the far side of the room to know exactly what you're trying to get them to do. It's all about clear messaging, people. The third step is you want to add a little bit of red around your eyes. You'll see that Harley's doing it right now. I, it was really more her idea. I think she actually wanted to gouge my eyeballs out. As you can see right now, she's adding little teardrops because, well, after all, it's hard work being the clown prince. And I think that in order for us to make a little bit of money, hot topic, we get some sponsorships. Hot topic, those are subliminal messages. This is a technique that we stole from the Batman. You just black out the eyeballs and make everybody think that you're mysterious. Like him. He's so mysterious. I wonder if he ever notices me. The next step is to get some dark black lines under my face. We thought it was a good idea to jump on the gritty reboot bandwagon. Everybody makes money that way. Why should we be any different? Look at this little doggy coming up and she's giving me a little kiss. You know, uh, bitches love me. I mean that sincerely. Now, she's digging in with the Model XK5 pencil. That is the best makeup pencil that was ever invented. We got it from Hot Topic. Hot Topic, I assume you're listening to this entire thing. I'm just, you know, we don't have a sponsorship right now, but if you ever considered it, you know, have your people call my people. Harley's getting pretty good at her pencil technique. It's almost as good as my disappearing pencil technique. Uh, we put the lights up a little bit just so you could see how warm this makeup actually makes you. I'm actually a sensitive, sad clown. And everyone's got that mushy center. Mushy like C4. Here we are applying some thick red lipstick. Very thick. C -c 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 um, did I say that right? I have found in my experience the best way to leave a mark is with lipstick or a bazooka. Again, here she is digging into my eyeballs with red. It's so helpful, the other day, I beat a man to death with a shoe, and his blood got all over my face, but no one knew! I went right to dinner afterward! And now we're outside in the sunshine, so that I can get my hair done, without getting it all over my clothes. I decided to go, this time, for a lime green. Not so much a Kelly, nor chartreuse, but is somewhere in between. I mean, summer's coming after all, and I've got to make sure that everyone can see my lightened tips. There's a very important next step, and that has to be the costuming, where you can dress up just like me. And Harley, I guess, if you're into that kind of thing. Keep your pants on. Yo, what's on Oh, wow. Is that delicious? I'm gonna censor this entire video. Just a bar here. Demonetized. I feel so awkward. I don't usually stand. What do I do with my hands? What do I do with my arms? Hello zombies! This is my Harley Quinn outfit. Let me take you through it step by step. Tell you where I got things and if I altered anything. So for this, we wanted to make our own version of Harley and the Joker, one that was recognizable, but that isn't from any one particular thing. So basically what that meant was a lot of red and black. Most of this stuff is right off of Amazon because Amazon is my shit. I will leave all the links in the description below to find these exact pieces, but it is so mixed and matched and that's kind of how I wanted it to feel that it's really easy to swap out any one item if you can't find it, if you don't want to buy it or something that you have in your closet, something you can find at a thrift store. It's pretty easy to put together. It looks really busy, like a full on costume, but I'm not a seamstress. You don't have to be. You just need to spend a lot of time on Amazon. The first thing we bought for this outfit were the boots. And as you might imagine, they did not come like this. They came like this, just all black. They had black laces in them, but they came with red, conveniently. So it took forever to put on the red laces. We found them at a shoe store in Hollywood that sells lots of like strippery shoes, which I love. I buy shoes from them too much. Sorry, is that, is that politically incorrect? Uh, these are like exotic dancer type shoes. Pleaser is the brand and you can find them online, I believe, on their website. 
Not spawns. None of this is spawns by anything but our wallets. And for this boot, a lot of you saw on Snapchat, because I was showing previews on Snapchat, that I painted these using just red acrylic paint. I freehanded this diamond. The texture is a little kind of like grungy, what's the word? Dirty, distressed kind of feel to Harley overall. So I kept it a little patchy up here and a little more solid as we went down. And I just painted it with a sponge with red acrylic paint and then I would take a wet paper towel, ball it up and then just blot it to kind of break this up. I did about two coats and I just generally left this alone. In the end though, this didn't look that good until we sprayed it with a clear coat of satin gloss finish. So not super glossy, but a satiny gloss and that made it match the exact shine of the original shoe. And obviously if these are too uncomfortable for wherever you're trying to wear a Harley costume, you can switch these out for sneakers and high socks, like knee high socks, thigh high socks. Get creative. Then if we move up, we have nude fishnets on the thighs. These are from my go-go dancing days. I just always wore them with my go-go outfits. They're really thick. I can't believe I haven't put any holes in them in all the years I've been wearing them. Unintentional holes. I wear them all the time, like even with shorts, just like regular out in the day shorts or skirts. Uh, you can find these on like dance websites. Then if we move up a bit more, we got shorts, which are like tartan plaid mixed with black. We found these on Amazon. I kept looking for things that had buckles because I wanted, since the boots were first, I kept trying to find things that were matching. So we got buckles to match these buckles. We got the red and the black, and this is a little punky, which is what we were going for. Not Hot Topic Harley, just a, a hint of some punk, but I altered these a bit. They're high-waisted, but I altered them because they came down to about here. So what I did is while I was wearing them, I just took scissors to them and I cut them off because I didn't want it to be really even and neat, so I figured if I tried to cut them on myself, they would look wild, and they do. And I tied this buckle so that it was at a different height than this one, because otherwise they hung the same. For the corset, oddly enough, or maybe not odd at all, is that I already had this exact corset set in black, because I wear stuff like this anyway. This is a two-piece corset set you can find on Amazon. It's this thing, and this little bolero type thing. So the one that I already owned is this, and this was in black. So we ordered the red version of it, and then I just swapped out the red bolero that came with this for the one that I already had in black. This is not a part of the corset. This is actually a Jungle Tribe harness that usually has two pouches on it that you can put like your phone and your wallet in. It's basically like a badass holstery purse but I took off the purse part and I just kept the harness part because again, I was going with a really strappy theme, trying to make it as busy for the eye as possible so that there's a lot to look at. Because that's kind of the trick. If you're not a seamstress or if you're doing this on a budget or you want to try to make something look more expensive for a cosplay, especially if you're able to create your own vision of it, it looks better if you got a lot to look at, if it's busy. That's why there's little details and everything too. Like I put, charcoal powder all over the red laces just to break it up so that it didn't look so solid and clean. And that makes it a little more interesting. I did the same with the gloves. I charcoal powdered the arm things. It helps. It's extremely hard to breathe in this corset. If I sound like I'm out of breath the whole video, that's why. This actually comes with two pockets, but we altered this a little bit. I thought that both pockets looked too bulky and took away too much of the red, so I cut one of them off, literally just cut it off. That's the beauty of <laughs> this kind of Harley costume is you, it can look like it's falling apart because it's supposed to look grungy. This has the brand name on it, and if you're filming a short film, you wanna to try to hide all brand names, so I just tucked that in. But if you wanna buy this for utility purposes, for a convention or whatever. It's kind of nice that it comes with two pockets because you can fit some shit in there. I really like how the arms turned out because this is the more inexpensive piece of the costume, but it's also one of the most interesting, I think, and the one that kind of ties the whole Harley thing together. So these gloves are from Amazon. They come like this with the fingers cut off, and then I just put charcoal powder over them and dirty them up so that they look like they've been worn. 
and used to kick some ass. I bought these leather bracers too that I thought I wanted here that laced up, but they looked too bulky. So we scratched that. And then this part is actually just a pair of stockings, like for your legs. They come with one checkered leg, one striped leg. I put it on my arms like this, and then I had the director Peter just cut away the parts that were making me stand there like this until I could drop my shoulders. Then once I could drop my shoulders, we just cut a slit in here and I pulled it down and we kind of cut it open. So if you look under here, it actually continues here. And then you just kind of put it on like a little shawl. That's it. Took a lot of time, put a lot of love into it with all these different accessories, it does add up. So again, I encourage you guys, if you're going to recreate this for Halloween or a convention or something like that, to mix and match with what you have. It's pretty easy to mesh a red and black thing. And the cool thing about owning now both the red and black versions of this is that if I ever wanna wear this Harley costume again in some other capacity, like I don't know, maybe another short film, I can just swap this and wear the red bolero with the black corset. Boom, costume change. And as is with fashion, the men's side of this, the Joker's outfit, is much simpler. So let's take a look at that real quick. Pretty much everything you see is from Amazon. The three-piece suit, the gloves, the bolo tie, and the pocket square. The only things not from there are the green shirt, which is from Express, and the shoes are from a Marshall shoe shop, both of which Andrew already had. No alterations except this accidental Batman lipstick stain that occurred on set. The end. But I had a ton of fun putting this costume together for you guys, and I think the point is to just have fun. So go crazy! But that's all we have for today. That's, I think that concludes all of the Harley videos that are gonna come out of the short Madly in Love. If you haven't seen it yet, it will be right at the end of this video and in the description. We'll see you in the next video, which is not gonna be about Harley Quinn and the Joker, because. You got three of them. Probably kind of sick of it by now, aren't you?